Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hearthway Let's Play. My name's Knifey Joey, and where we left off from last time, we were just about to enter uh, the main dining room area. Uh, we met up with another survivor whose name was Josh. And he was an IT specialist, and he has informed us that he is in a fridge, which is of course where you always survive the ship zombie apocalypse, and he wants us to come and get him. I suppose we can oblige him. However, he did say we have to take the long way around. So, without further ado, and with our squad appropriately armed, let's push forward. We shouldn't wait around too long. No, we should not. I didn't even know why we're waiting around at all. I thought it was just going to go into the next area. Well, I just want to double check... Uh, everything in terms of ammo. Luckily, we've stored some, so I'm just going to grab some anyway. Uh, probably give this to Linda, and I'll take this for myself. And I think we're good. Let's start the next mission. Find another way into the canteen and free Josh out of the fridge. That sounds fair enough. Let's deploy. And we are immediately confronted by the sight of blood. Always a reassuring sight. Uh, we've also been confronted by uh, two containers. Which is a much better sight. So let's grab these first. And get ambushed. By... What is that? What's that in the back corner? Uh, oh, it's a turret. Okay. Well, I wasn't quite expecting the ambush, but that's that's all right. We're soldiers. We can we can push on. All right. All right. So just getting just getting into some cover. Now Samuel here. He can hit the further away target a little bit better. Now, he's got two action points. So, let's try and take advantage of that and try to hit this... I'm um, thinking it's a turret. Let's try and hit it early. Uh, why he can't hit it, I'm not sure exactly. You can see that guy okay. Now, I can't see that turret very well. Potentially, that is a retracted turret. Maybe? I don't even know if there is such a thing in this game. But let's, uh... Let's firstly use Morton to try and take this guy out. Let's see how we go. That was a miss. Now, Linda can't do very much, so I'm just gonna, uh... Try to hit this guy with Samuel. And then I want to see if that is indeed a turret that pops out of the ground. Because again, I can't... I can't click on it. Even though we can see it, technically. So either it's a bug or it's retracted. So let's try to take this uh, guy out first. And that was a miss. Not a very, not a very good miss. Well, I'm going to put Linda on Retaliate just in case he moves forward. But I'm curious to see what happens, what this thing is and what it does. It is a retractable turret. And everyone just uh, took a bit of damage. So, five damage down to two shield. Samuel still got a bunch of shield left. So, Morden, I want you to try and take this guy out now, please. If you. Oh, no, I'm not going to fall for that. Now, let's try and take him out. That's four. Now, Linda, I need you to finish this guy off. Can you? Can you please do that for me? Please finish him. I'll even give you extra accuracy. I just want to make sure this guy goes down. Because that indeed was a retractable turret. Ah. Only 
Uh, you gotta take it though. I just need to get rid of this guy. Alright. Uh, well, Samuel has shield, so he can he can tank the uh, tank the turret. So let's let's see what the turret indeed decides to do. He decides to miss, which is what all good turrets do. Alright. Let's move Linda forward. Eight percent. No. Morton. I don't think he has line of sight of the turret. No. I'm gonna move Samuel because he's got more. Thirty-six uh, percent. I'm gonna try to take the shot. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it back here. Sixty percent shots are nothing to sneeze at. Six damage. Beautiful. Alright, I'm just going to move Morton here for now. Even if you can't see, it sets me up for next turn. No, can't see it. That's okay. Linda, no, not great. So we'll just leave her for now. And finish this turn. Although, no, you can't see it. There's no point. Never mind. Samuel lost another two shield. That's fine. Linda, let's get you up here. If you could take this turret out now, that'd be fantastic. Oh, and a hyper jump! Okay. Ouch. Not again. Whoa. Watch out! How did they get in here? Just take cover. Ouch. Ouch. Not exactly what I was expecting. So, the hyper jump got them in here. So, remember at the start of the game how ships weren't coming out of hyper jump? Yeah, starting to think that the hyper jump is, uh, is not just turning the crew into zombies, it's also uh, helping them move around. So, uh, Luna needs to... Uh, let me see what Morton can do first. Because if I could take them both out in this turn, that would be preferable. Alright, Morden, can you... I tell you what, this might even be worth using short shot, a uh, steady shot. Let's see. Awesome. Now, if I reload and just, and just hit the guy here, it's just going to do melee damage, which isn't great. So I might move and then retaliate. Oh, move and reload, I should say. I can't retaliate this turn. Samuel can't see, so he can retaliate. So Linda might be a bit of trouble, but she can self-heal. So I'm not too concerned. We've also got plenty of medkits. So if he can move right next to Linda and shoot, there must be a way for me to do it that I just haven't figured out yet. So I'm probably going to... Figure that out right when I don't really need it. So, anyway. Let's see if Samuel can get rid of this guy now. Or at least take his shield down. That's a miss. What about Morton? Morton should at least be able to take his shield down with 85%. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's pull Linda back a little bit. Try to try to hit him now. Try to take him out now. Oh, you missed! Oh, you missed. Well, I think she's gonna have to heal next turn because I'm pretty sure this guy is gonna put her in a bit of a world of hurt. Yeah, not great. Down to six. That's melee. Surely there's got to be a way. Might have to look it up, to be honest. Alright, come on Samuel, finish this. Oh, it's a miss. Back, Morden. 
47%. Okay. How did they get in here? Did anyone see what happened? They just appeared after the jump. You mean... Out of nowhere? Completely out of thin air. Damn it. Lannis, do you know what that means? Yes. There's not much we could do about it right now. Keep on your toes. They could ambush us at any moment. Alright. So, hyper jumping aliens all throughout the. or mutants all throughout the ship. Huh. Well, first things first is uh, there were these two containers which started all this. Uh, another plasma rifle. Some more ammo, so we'll uh, we'll take the rifle because it's good to be able to recycle stuff anyway. Shield cell and ammo. Okay. Well, I think one of these is going to have to be given back to Linda. Um, Sammy needs to reload. Now, Linda. You've got a medium med kit, so let's see how much this gives back to you. 18. Great. What we needed. You know what we still have? We still have a health stim pack. Now, I'm pretty sure that Linda's up to three stim packs. Pretty sure it's up to three stim packs. But the problem is, is that, as we can see, she still needs them. So, I might just have to... Let's see. To make sure. Maybe she'll grow a third arm or something. No, nope, we're still fine. Morden's still fine. He's still got three ammo left. I'm gonna give this to uh, Samuel, because he... I'm give this to Samuel. So, Samuel... He's the pack mule. Samuel's got all that extra inventory space. He's still got three left. Uh, which is great. Tell you what, I might... I might switch to this, the rail gun. Just, I just want to see what it does. I just want to see what it does. So it did say it was accurate, so we'll... Uh, we'll see, huh? So no more containers left here. Uh, let's... Uh, let's push forward. Alright, slightly ominous. Alright, we have a retractable turret here. No idea what's over here. So... Alright. Now that turret's just gonna basically aim straight down into here, so... I'm gonna move Linda up here first. Worst case scenario, I could just double move her into cover. Is that something there? I can't quite tell if that's a mutant or if that's just rubbish. Hmm. Alright, let's move here first. No aliens or mutants here. Okay, good. So now we can uh, probably do is get Morton here and he can cover the right side. Just in case any mutants decide to get clever, come out of here, come out of here. I, I don't like clever mutants. And we can move Samuel here, and he'll have a he'll have a shot of the turret once it comes out. So I'm going to set him into retaliate mode, so that if it does decide to take a shot at him, he can fire right back. And Morton uh, can also go into retaliate, as can Linda. Let's hope it doesn't take a shot at Linda. She won't hit, but just in case something comes out the right. <laughs> Samuel got hit for two. And fired back and did seven damage. Very nice. Oh, here we go. There's one. There's another. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, here we go. Alright, so yeah, a bit of movement coming down the right. So Morden is going to be our friend on the right that's going to cover all this for us. Yes, you are. Now, Linda, can you hit 57? Let's boost that. 76, can you at least take your shield out? 
I think you did. I think you took your shield out. Now... 32... 23. Nah. You're gonna go for the turret because you did a great amount of damage on that thing last turn. Let's double your accuracy. Well, maybe not double. Increase it. I can't do maths. I'm not very good at maths. You will learn this. Let's try to take this turret out now. Great shot. Wow, that, uh, that railgun does an awful lot of damage for not a lot of ammunition. So, Morden, you're gonna go to retaliate and just keep a watch on that right flank. Alright, feeling good. Let's do this. One, two, retaliate. Yeah. Yeah, thought you might do that. So, those, those techs, everyone loves to go for Samuel for some reason. I'm really not sure why. Honestly, more worried about these guys at this point. The the blue blue crew, the uh, the techs don't seem to do as much damage, but let's um let's try to take you out now. 76%. I shouldn't need to boost this. Ah, uh, five. Well, you're out of ammo, so reloading you. Well... He can take this guy out now with 100% and then try to take one of these guys, or at least try to damage one of these guys, so... I think his melee would be fine. Good. Alright, let's try and get... Let's try to hit the 38 percenter. And just to make life even more interesting... We'll use your headshot skill. So if you hit, you should crit. So let's do it. Ah, you missed. And now you're out of ammo too. Alright, Morden. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna try to hit this guy. Alright, well steady shot you so you at least get one hit, and then you can potentially finish him off with your second volley. Very nice. So let's try to take him out now, shall we? Oh, you missed. Uh, someone's gonna, uh, someone's gonna get hit here. Alright. How badly is that gonna hurt us? They're swarming. Swarming forward. Linda. Samuel. Miss. Morden got hit. Samuel got hit. Alright, Samuel's shield is gone. Well, let's see if we can do... Oh, you've got, you got no ammo, so i got to reload you. So you're going to take one shot this turn. Alright, well, let's just take this guy out right here if you can. Oh, I'll be you. I'll come back to you. No, you know what I'm going to do? No, I'm going to research and see. I'm going to have a look and see if there is a way for you not to melee something right next to you. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so... Right, so it was a right click the whole time. It was a right click. Aren't I silly? That whole time it was a right click and I'm sure... There are people out there who'll be like, OMG, he no use right click, what noob. Uh, I totally agree with you. So, alright, Linda. One down. Till, what's left in you? Alright. Let's try to use your. Yep, let's. let's 62%, I'm willing to take that chance. Yeah, it hit. Alright. Melee should finish this. And it does. Linda, 76%. Come on. 
Oh, that was a sweet sequence. Three down. In that turn. Linda, the gun yet again. And now Samuel can actually try to take a uh, uh, 21%. I don't know. I'd rather put him in retaliate mode, to be honest, because then... I don't know. I'd just rather not take the 21% chance. Let's finish this turn. Miss! And he missed. So there's... Are there two up there that are just cycling? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, Samuel's shield came back. Uh, there's still something up here on the right, so... Morden, I'm gonna move you around. Start moving you around. Uh, Linda... Linda can come up and she can... Try to smash this guy. Come on, Linda. Nine damage. Ouch. I probably should have noticed he was on Retaliate, huh? Yeah. Alright, Samuel. Uh, whoops, sorry, my bad. 45%. Can you take this guy out? Yes, you can. Good shot. Now, Morden, I'm going to keep you on Retaliate on this side. Just in case he decides to sweep down. There is something down that right. What is it? I want to know what it is. Oh, hello, it's another turret. Well, you're going to be fun in a minute to, to freaking deal with. I might just see... Uh, has his... No, still two turns. Tell you what, take a shot anyway. Uh, miss, miss. Alright, you're just going to sit there, Morton, for now. Linda needs to reload. Forty-eight percent. Well, let's let's use Samuel first before I do that. Fifty-seven. Yeah, it's worth it. Ah, it's a miss. Tell you what, as accurate as the railgun is, man, I'm missing all that extra all that extra ammo. It's just burning through it. 48%. Yeah, that's worth a try. 7 damage. Yep. That's pretty good. Let's finish this up. Miss. Miss. Good. I still don't know if there's one over here, if that's just this guy moving around a lot. It's really hard to tell. Um, I'm going to swap you back to the military sniper. So at least you had better... Yeah... 35%, let's take that chance. Great shot. 12 damage too. Yeah, I don't know if that railgun experiment was worth it. Well, let's move Linda around and see if there is something else over here. Well, nothing I can see. So Morton... Look, he's in a decent position there, so I'm just gonna keep... Firing him from there. Four damage. Lovely work. He'll probably have... If, if he has one more volley left in him. Uh, Linda, I'm going to move here. Yep, not in line of sight of the turret. She can move up next turn and blast it. In theory. Morton got here. Though, the shield is fine, so let's... Linda here. Alright, Morden, let's see if you could finish this off. <laughs> ah, you can't. But that's what Linda's for. Can she finish it? Yes, she can. So, no enemy activity. Good. So let's just regather, regroup. Uh, let's check the ammo situation. Linda's got two reloads left, which one of which she's going to need to use right now. Morton, you got plenty of ammo, and you are going to reload right now. 
Samuel, yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not convinced that railgun experiment was worth it. I think I just burned through a lot of ammo. Um, I've already got a plasma rifle, but it's useful to have it. Railgun, look, I'll keep it anyway. I'll just dump it all in storage, and when I get Josh, he's going to need some weapons. So, just in case his weapons aren't very good. Well, we've got a, we've got a few storage boxes around here. You've got... Uh, one container, uh, another container. Okay, maybe not that many, but let's let's just see what we can find. Well, there's that shield cell I completely misused, uh, so that's good. Uh, got a door that leads. I think that's honestly just a storage room, so let's just move up here firstly. I don't want to take any chances. Ammo, good. I think you needed some ammo, Samuel. Yes, yes you did. Uh, I'm gonna give this to... Linda. I'm gonna give this to... Morton. Okay. This is probably just a storage room, but... Uh, I'm gonna put the guy the large... Uh, sorry, I'm put the guy the largest shield. Just in case there's something in here. And there isn't, luckily. Mark II Scout Suit. Uh, pretty sure I've got one already. Pretty sure I've got all these things, actually. Uh, yeah, I've already got a Mark II Scout Suit. So I can recycle this one. Uh, I've already got a Devastator in the inventory, so I can recycle this one. Uh, Morning has two... Linda's got one. Okay, so... Okay, so Linda's got a, some more ammo now. Uh, those are all the containers I can see here. Uh, that's interesting. Now, there's nothing on this side which makes me think that it's just... Oh, yeah, finished the level. There you go. Oh, there's one more container up here. So... Let's grab that. Let's hope we don't spawn spawn anything. No. Make it. Alright. Well, the only other doorway to anywhere uh, is down here. So I'm wondering if this is where the mission finishes. Linda? Linda? Ah, oh, there she is. Totally missed her. All right, let's let's see what awful things we spawn here. Nothing. All right, let's move in. Uh, we've got a container here. Ammo, fantastic. What's through here? I wonder. A bloody toilet. Well, that was worth going into. Uh, medical room here. Now, the only person... Well, we've got two people who are injured. So maybe... Agility stim pack. Uh, might give it to... Might give it to Samuel, that one. Because he does need a little bit of extra help moving, so... Just keep up with everyone. Alright, let's go through here. Is this usable? Nah, looks like it's kaputskis. Alright, let's all, let's all gather down here. Let's see what's through here. And it's more blood. More bloody things. So this was good for equipment, not much else. That's fine. So it looks like we haven't found Josh here yet. Alright. Alright, so that level's finished. Looks like we just basically burned a path. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Pretty sure I grabbed all the containers. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it did, so let's...
Okay. So this is what I thought the last mission would do. And it looks like our friend Josh is through here. Uh, but we'll have to save that for another episode. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. My name's Knifey Joey, and I'll see you next time.